Revelia. Alohomora. You're the one who took care of that awful acromantula near Aronshire, aren't you? Find the... I still can't get over losing poor, innocent Mary to those hideous spiders. She didn't deserve that. Didn't Clementine Willardsley, uh, what sort of thing are we looking for? Nice doing business with you. Thank you for stopping in. Be sure to visit us again soon. Revelia. Rebellion. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ah, the absconder assassin! Oh, pleasure to see you again. Can't tell you how happy my lord's daughter was to get that watch. Mr. Adley, do you have a moment? For you? Always. You're a hero around here. Any interesting chatter going around the town? The absconder's finally gone, so that's a relief. <laughs> but enough of spiders, eh? Everything is peaceful now, or as peaceful as one could expect, given the current state of the world. Did you know Mary Portman, the spider breeder? Not personally, although everyone here speaks very fondly of her. Her friends say that she had a soft spot for the arachnids, but no one expected anything like this. Uh, you know what they say about good intentions, though. Thanks to her little hobby, quite a few lives were lost. I'd like to know more about you, Mr. Adley. Eh, not much to tell. I'm a merchant, but I also make it my personal business to provide every customer with what they need. What do you have for sale? 
anything I can help you find? Ah, never mind replenishing my stocks. Pleasure doing business with you. Ah, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your business. Hogsmeade, here I come. You're back! Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him. Whether it is us or Officer Singer, if someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. 
I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he of all people would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Summoner's Court. That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? <laughs> of course, Charlotte. Then may the best Summoner win. But I almost beat you too. Hard luck. Care for another round?
Absolutely. Don't cut me out yet. That's the spirit. Stop that. Too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I practice as much as I can. Practice, eh? I suppose I could try that. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. to read the chapter for potions today. Wish I had a potion to remind myself to do my homework. Still have...
I say, <laughs> teach me everything going. In fact, if Hecate doesn't hurry up and teach me the Imperius curse, I swear I shall get on that train and go home. I'd never have a harsh word to say about Hogwarts. I, for one, could stay here forever. Merlins! If there's something you need. That's been a pleasure. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Could do worse than Peter upon Ford. Sharply.
answer myself. believe this. <sighs> How about some sightseeing? On another adventure, are we? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Aloha, Mora. Rebellion.
Revelio. more. I know what that means. Merlin trial. like a place right out of a storybook. What do we have here? A demigod. Mine now, demigods. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made yet. Mm. Well, if we're talking beef, it seems. You! What do you think you're? The hell the troll you are! Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Seems a pleasant enough little place.
so tricky after all, Merlin. What are you up to now? Alohomora. Revelia. Now, hello, Amora. Rebellion. Rococo Savior, good to see you again. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this.
some time to talk. I have all the time in the world for a potential customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell, Clifford Cromwell. I'd like to ask you a bit about Maranweem, if you don't mind. Of course. Lived here for years. Lovely, peaceful place to settle in. Have you heard rumors about dark witches or wizards lurking nearby? Try to avoid them when I can. Nasty lot, Rookwood's crew. However, I did see a poacher not too long ago. Not good for business. Not good at all. I'd like to learn a bit about you, sir, if you don't mind. Well, how charming. No one ever asks about me. Been in Maronween since I left Hogwarts. I did some work with the Ministry as a young man. A uh, confidential project. <laughs> it had to do with the usage of mandrakes. As weapons, believe it or not. Went through enough cotton wool in my ears to fill a cauldron. But after a time, I sought a quieter life. Set up shop here, selling my wares. I am always content among my plants. What can you tell me about your shop? I sell plants and their byproducts here. Herbology was always my passion, even as a young Hufflepuff at Hogwarts. You're a Hufflepuff too. Always nice to see our house represented well. Agreed. Just and loyal and unafraid of toil are we. Based on our brief chat alone, I sense that you do our house proud. What do you have for sale? Ah, yes. What can I do for you? Such a pleasure doing business with you. I hope this serves you well in all of your future herbological ventures. Be sure to visit again. Always brightens my day helping you, young ones. Rebellion. It's like a place right out of Revelia. Now, dummy guns. May I have a moment of your time?
Alohomora. Revelia. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Ah, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Can you tell me what the Derricol den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognise it by all of the Derricals lolling about. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derricol. Oh, thank you! Those gorgeous feathers! And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At night, apparently. This must be the Derricol den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Rebellion! Let Miss Moffat know.
I dream of making a better world. I should investigate. Avelio. ways. Seems a pleasant enough. Oh, hello. Any luck? Miss Moffat, I caught Quinaira. That's incredible. Was it terribly difficult? Not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? Of course. Oh, you're too kind. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. Ah. Oh. Thank you so much for bringing me Gwynaira. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers sparingly. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Time for
for a joint, I'd say. What was that? I'm sure it's pathetic. Let me out so. <laughs> You're the Let one who stole the goblin hell. Incendia! Thank you. 